I made a mistake. So here's the thing. You know how they say that INTJs, ISTPs, and INTPs are excellent chess players, right? They're introverted intuitives and introverted thinking types. They excel at planning and plotting and strategy and tactics. And so they must be great at chess, right? And I thought, hey, I'm an INFJ. And I have both introverted intuition and introverted thinking. So clearly this should be a walk in the park. Clearly I should be able to beat both of them, right? And so I thought I'll challenge an introverted thinking type to a game of chess. The only problem is I haven't played chess in 10 years. This was going to be hard. <laughs> ISTP Benjamin Sadek. Uh, um, this, is, this is such an objective science here. This is really good. We'll, we'll figure this out once and for all. This is like... Um, so we're doing a best of three. And I was wondering, have you ever played chess before? I have, yeah. I yeah. actually haven't played in like... 10 15 years except i did like a practice game yesterday oh nice uh, so uh don't expect much uh except uh in pure intuition here i'm already stumped <laughs> first move and i'm like huh what do i do now <laughs> mm -hmm. do you enjoy chess oh uh, yeah why not i enjoy a good company that's true it's uh yeah. what kind of games are your favorites um see i don't really have favorites because i'm a ti so favorites is not in my vocabulary you have to have some things that you find to be optimal then uh, sure or are you a person that plays whatever <laughs> other people put in front of you uh yeah i'm, I'm easy at going i don't really care what's what's played and stuff like that so oh, i can see what you're doing on your screen before it gets done that's cool yeah, you get to see my thought process. That's a bit uh -huh. uh, cheating, I have to say. It is cheating, yeah. I'd say I'd prefer if you don't look. <laughs> All right, I won't look. We'll, we'll scouts on her. Oh, we, we don't have 10. We have 10 minutes total. Yeah. <laughs> it's not restarting the counter. No, it's uh, uh, 20 minutes. Yeah, max, yeah. yeah. Now, here's the lucky thing. It turns out Benjamin Sadek had not played a lot of chess either. So maybe there was a chance, maybe there was hope. My first game was feeling good. I felt like I was off to a good start. I think I had the lead. I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's good. That was a decent one. Yeah, that was the only one I could do. Question is, can you check me now and win if I don't do anything? Because otherwise I've won. Really? Yeah, there's like, uh, I have a flawless strategy and uh, all I need is two moves. Uh, so unless uh, there's a way for you to stop me now. Well, let's see. Well, there's a way for you to stop me. That's a good one. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> I fucked that up. Yeah. I guess it was desperation as well. Mm -hmm. I'm just lucky I got out of that because I feel like you could have gotten me in those situations. If the board was slightly different, I feel like you could have gotten checkmate there because I had nothing to stop you. Thanks for double deciding on me there. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what can I do? Um, oh, there's one thing. Yeah, I don't see much. There's one move you can do to save this game. Really? Yeah. Uh, you still come out at a loss, but uh, it does uh, put you in a better position. Yeah. I mean, this is the only one that... This is the one I've been watching for a while. Yeah, what I was looking for was uh, your horse up to uh, F3. Then you would have countered uh, my next move uh, from becoming the king, at least. And ultimately, I'd just have the diagon uh, the bishop left. Yeah, this is checkmate. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Good game. Good uh, job, buddy. Are you uh, uh, ready for a second one? Uh, sure. 
Yeah, that's right. I'm off to an early lead. I won game one. And here's the thing, you know, um, there's a problem with winning early. And that is that you can become a bit overconfident. Okay, so round two. Do you feel better about your odds? Sure. What color am I? Uh, I think... Uh, I'm white. There we go. No, I'm white. You're black. No. I'm in a different game then. I'm against Thumper. Who are you? I'm Thumper. All right. Did you see me make a move? Yeah, I just saw you make a move. Yeah, you there moved we your go. queens. I feel like my starting game before was really weird. <laughs> like, I, I have no idea why I was making those moves. Yeah, it's okay. Um, let's see, what am I going to do here now? Do you think you're more of an aggressive player or a defensive player? I haven't played enough games to analyze my, <laughs> my <laughs> tactics. <laughs> yeah. I, I think for me, what is the case is that I always, no matter what game it is, I always like uh, prepare and I don't want to do anything until I know I can be, come out ahead. So I, I always wait like till I see an opening where I see like, oh, I have definite mm -hmm. advantage and a chance here and then I go in. Are but otherwise, moving? yeah, I did. But otherwise I just... Um, wait and let the other person make the mistakes. Mm -hmm. I was having fun. Benjamin was such a nice guy and I was really starting to relax. And I didn't realize, yeah, little did I know that I was about to make a mistake. Oh, or maybe I do. No, what the hell am I thinking? Why? Wait a second. Why did I do that? Can you take that back? I think that's a blunder. That's a big <laughs> blunder. That's a huge blunder. Why, why did you do that? You're just throwing the game. Yeah, so, that's... Uh... I can't take this now. What am I supposed to do? Can, can, I, can you request a take back? No, I'd say uh, done is done. Um, so I would just yeah. be an idiot for not capitalizing on this now. Sorry. You, you gotta. I apologize. Yeah. Forgive me. <laughs> I got too uh, overconfident. And you also got me in uh, my... You got my horse. Yeah. It's really annoying. <laughs> yeah. That's a really big blunder. Yeah, that wasn't the... <laughs> oh, take, just take advantage of the fact that I'm going to waste turns taking your pieces now. <laughs> uh, what kind of advantage are we talking about here? <laughs> I don't know. It's um, my blood for your time. Mm-hmm. Um, Yeah, I've got nothing to win there. Well, you, I, I mean, you could move your bishop. That's the one I would do. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking about doing as well. Uh, yeah. But uh, I still uh, don't like the trade. Yeah, it's still a shitty trade. I agree. Mm -hmm. It's a really shitty trade. Um, I know there's another thing I could do, of course. And it's, uh, yeah, just throw it away. Yeah, I was starting to panic, and if you know one thing about INFJs, it's that we don't deal well with high-stress situations. But I decided to really bite it out, and I thought, I can come back from this. I can take back a decisive second game, and I'd have the lead. I'd, I'd have won. It would be over. Yeah. Oh, you didn't do what I thought you would do. Oh, you thought I would do something else? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, I have no idea what he meant by this. Was there a different move I should have made there? I don't know. It throws me off. It made me panic even more. Fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so. I guess that's it. Oh, I'm in check. Yeah. Like, I'm uh, trying to think of how the board could evolve at this point. I'm not sure.
The question is, you can just check me or not. Now there's only one move I can pick, right? So I'm not gonna stall yep. it. Huh. Interesting. Right, maybe that was a bad trade and that. Well, that was good. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, at least it puts me <laughs> a little bit better. Okay. Gotta think. You can go there, you can go there, you can take that, but you might take that. I had to do something there. <laughs> and that was it. Game 2 was lost. It was 1-1. One, one. I was starting to lose. And that couldn't happen. I had to get it together. I had to get a decisive third round. And here's the thing. INFJs, we study our opponents, we learn how they think, we get in their heads, we try to figure out their patterns, what do they do, how do they plan things, how, what are they thinking, and how can we get them to do what we want them to do. And here is the thing, Benjamin had a pattern. Yeah, that's lame. <laughs> yeah, he did to me first game. That's true. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you're playing the karma game. Is that what I'm playing? All right. Could be. <laughs> What's more is the longer I go at something, the more focused I get. And so I was starting to feel myself entering into this state of flow. I felt myself just relaxing and I felt myself just getting into a really good flow. So can you explain what, uh, um, what single observer and double decider means to you? Um, yeah, that's what you are, single observer and double decider. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're really quickly able to quickly um, shift into my perspective. Right. And it's difficult yeah. for you to shift into other people's perspective. Yeah. Uh, so or, how that... or, well, for me as an IP, yeah, as an EJ, it'd be difficult to shift into my own perspective. Right. And um, like, uh, I mean, that's the, that's, that's a very bad explanation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everyone watching. Do not hurt me, please. So how would that manifest like bad empathy or? Uh, no, not bad empathy because we all have bad empathy because we're all projecting. Right. Yeah. All of our empathy is pretty bad. Hmm. So uh, good empathy would be if you didn't project onto people, right? That's what I say. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? So. Uh, what does that mean for you to not project? How do you learn not to project? Well, not to project, it means you have to, you have to, you have to at least see some kind of cognition in the other person. So you have to assume that they are capable of thinking and that they are making rational decisions. I mean, <laughs> I assume that anyways, but sometimes that's projecting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was reading um, how to uh, make friends and influence people, you know, the classic by Dale Carnegie. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, he was pushing. Yeah, it's, it's a surprisingly good book. Uh, you'd think it's like a weird, like social manipulation strategy, but he. No, actually... the, the title, the title gives that off that impression. Yeah. It just teaches yeah. you how to be a decent human being. Exactly. Like it just says yeah. the core message is like, assume that everyone has a good reason for everything they do and uh, uh, mm -hmm. be authentic and sincere because people know when you fake it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now here's the thing, you know, Benjamin is a great guy. He's such a friendly guy and he's so smart. You should check out his channel. He does all these really nice in-depth discussions on the personality types. And I thought, you know, I can do the social game better than him. If I keep on talking to him and if I keep him uh, occupied mentally, he'll make a mistake and I'll get him just where I need him to be. So, um, 
that's more like uh, you're an uh, expert at feeling perfectionist. Like you have it really strong, uh, but you want it to be uh, like perfect. So that's why it becomes difficult for you. Oh. Yeah, I think it's just from, from, yeah, I don't know. I can say what it's from, but I think it's just like, just a fear thing. It's, uh, you know, if enough th bad things happen to you because you fuck up the FE, then you're going to be very careful with not fucking it up again. <laughs> the way it works, I guess. Well, that also means that you end up uh, with a really supercharged extorted feeling. Right. Uh, like you'll be good. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> like I've always wondered about the, the OP term glass cannon and I'm not using it the right way at all now. Glass lizard. Uh, yeah, not a glass cannon. Glass lizard. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. That was dumb. That was really dumb. What the hell? Uh, I think we'll have that on the blunder board. Yeah, that's on the blunder board for sure. Yep. 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 Yeah, I uh, know. I I read it as uh, extorted feeling glass cannon uh, in a sense because it's like it would be like really strong but also really easy to break. And maybe you'd have like a few situations where you're super comfortable with it, but outside those situations, it would be very difficult for you. Would that be right? Um, I could guess. <laughs> maybe, could be. Yeah. Um. Do you want? Can you can you just ask it again so that I, I understood what you asked a bit better? Yeah. So I pay attention to too many things at the same time. You're still throwing me off my game here. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I throw myself off my game, and I hope yeah, yeah. I get you in the fall as well. So, Perfect. um, uh, I, what I was thinking is that you have extroverted feeling as like a kind of glass cannon, like uh, uh, strong extroverted feeling, but it kind of breaks very easily, and it's like uh, yeah. So does it break? Yeah, how does it break? How's it fragile? I, th I think you're kind of right. Um, um, I, I don't think it was naturally strong, to be honest. I think I just strengthened it um, by using it, by exercising it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Oh, wait, that's just throwing away a piece. Is it? Is that what it's doing? Um, kind of. No, it's OK. It's passable. No, that was dumb. Thank you. I thought I had made a huge mistake because I didn't even notice the bishop was positioned there. Yeah, I, I, I probably would have noticed the bishop if you didn't say you made such a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, that was a big mistake. Oh, nice. I'll capitalize. Damn it. <laughs> so here's my question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would be um, a good idea to do an Among Us game with like all the major like uh, MBTI channels? See, I got a problem with this major MBTI channel thing, but anyway, yeah, sure, uh, why not? MBTI let's do it. channel. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, uh, I mean, I major for me is like uh, plus a thousand. <laughs> how do you know how many you have? I don't know how many you have. How many do you yeah. have? Oh, I can't tell you. Got to hide the info. <laughs> How many do you have? I haven't. I haven't checked in a while. Uh, like, uh, yeah, thirty-seven uh, k. Thirty-seven k. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's that's huge. Yeah. Thanks. Like, uh, I've been on the 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 grind the longest of like almost any of the active YouTubers. Uh, so it's not that strange. Right. Uh, it's just um, that, um, yeah, like over time it just adds up, you know, and I was also one of the first, so I could also capitalize on that. Right. And you got your own system going for you. So, oh, damn, that was a good one. Thank you. Well, not much I can do. I got one move, I think. Yeah. And after that, I think you're done. Actually, yeah. I, I think I got you. Yeah. I'll oh, shake your God. hand on this one right now. Good game. Good game. Uh, yep. oh, you did great. Uh, and <laughs> I think overall you actually did better than me because my second game was so awful. Uh, so <laughs> I think. See, good double deciding there. You're like sacrificing your DI for this. All right, that's awesome. That's nice of you. I appreciate giving me the the respect and honor. <laughs> what, yeah, what, does it mean, what does it mean to sacrifice my DI? It's like. Um, 
so that's like my introverted thinking right yeah yeah it's it's like saying it's reducing your introverted thinking a little bit for the social game right right yeah no it's uh that was well played that was a good good double deciding there thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah Cause, uh, yeah because in the end in the end you win like you're taking the the higher win right yeah, and uh, after this, people will clip uh, how I threw away my king in the middle of the game. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, we, you obviously you obviously made mistakes. I made three blunders here and two mistakes. What did you get? Yeah, I got one blunder. So this was a really good game for me. I uh, nice. This was my best game by far. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I think my accuracy was pretty high. I'm just gonna do the game review thing uh, to check. I think your accuracy must have been pretty high as well. Um, this one was bad. I wasn't even paying attention. You were asking me hard questions. Oh yeah, you, <laughs> you did. Psych you psyched me out. That was good. That was clever. I need to remember that kind of tactic. Oh shit, I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Like, I want uh, this kind of a series to be for both the content, uh, for the interaction, but also for the uh, discussion in between. So it's, yeah, no, le I, it's learning to multitask that becomes. Yeah, I know, I know. It's it's kind of annoying just to be focused on the game and uh, not talk during it, because um, the people watching it are like, why am I watching some amateur chess game of two people that are supposed to be talking about typology, but they're not. <laughs> they're just <laughs> sucking at chess together. <laughs> So uh, on that note, I want to say thank you so much for doing this challenge with me. And um, yeah, I'll uh, take it here. Uh, first, uh, introverted intuition is definitely superior to introverted thinking in chess. And uh, All right. if anyone disagrees, they can leave a comment in the comments down below. Well, if you uh, really want to disagree, you can call them an any user instead and just say any is superior to TI. I guess that would work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much again for joining in. I really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, had fun. We yeah. should do this again. And that was it. Game three was won. And I had proven once and for all INFJs are the superior chess players. Are you an INTJ or an INTP? And do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching. And see you all in the next video.